<laughs> um, wow, I mean, wow. Because <laughs> I can do what I want because I'm a clown. Oh my God, I look so weird. Hi guys, welcome back. I mean, you might not recognize me, I only uploaded once last week. I actually asked you guys over on my Instagram for some feedback on my YouTube content and the types of videos that you enjoy the most on my channel. I asked you guys in those little like polls and stuff whether you wanted to see Halloween stuff this year. What the hell is that? It's like a fly, but it's got about 500 legs. Did I get it? I got it. Okay, sweet. Some like baby daddy long legs just descended upon me. Anyway, I asked you guys whether you wanted to see Halloween videos on my YouTube channel or whether I should just stick to Instagram and TikTok because that was kind of my plan. And quite a few people actually suggested that I do a testing makeup video. So all of this is actually drugstore makeup, but I am going to put a sort of Halloween twist on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. All of this is drugstore. I don't have every single thing for my entire face, but I've got most of the rest. Let's just have fun. Let's put some makeup. I will leave everything linked down below. Let's get into it. I think the thing that I'm most excited to test is the Makeup Obsession and Illuminati palette and eyeshadow, eyeshadow? Eyeliner, um, pencil things. I've got a couple brands in here that I've never tried their makeup before. So we're starting off with the So Su But First Base HD Skin Illuminating Booster. This is a face primer, which is kind of glowy, and this is the shade Caramel. I've tried So Su lashes before, but I don't think I've ever tried their makeup. Today kind of feels like a bit of a doomsday, waiting on Boris's announcement, and I'm sure by the time you're watching this, he's probably already said what all the new restrictions are. Hopefully this can take your mind off it. I like how this has got a pump and it's in a squeezy tube as well. And I mean, so far just putting it on my face, it looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Ooh, it feels nice actually. The formula feels kind of like a mixture between a gel and a cream, but it actually feels quite light. I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit heavy, sticky, super shiny, but it's really not. It feels nice and hydrating. I don't know how well you can really tell on camera or like even on my fingers, you probably can't. Um, it's got the tiniest amount of a yellowy gold sort of shimmer in it, but you can't really see it that well on my skin. My skin mostly just looks kind of radiant and it's left my face slightly tacky. You know what, I quite like that. I mean, so far, quite like it. Let's see how my foundation works on the top of it. So I don't have a new drugstore foundation. Have Has the drugstore come out with any new foundations recently? I mean, I know that Revolution launched an illuminating one, but that doesn't seem like it's my kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go in with my Revlon Colorstay. I've got the shade 180 Sand Beige. Oh shit, I was gonna start a TikTok video. <laughs> Halloween is coming. All right, that will do. I'm really sad that my Halloween nails have chipped. I've actually got a Halloween nail, um, like mini tutorial going up on my Instagram this week on Friday, I think it is. So for those of you that have been asking about these nails, Soph Does Nails actually makes a return. <laughs> I mean, I still do my nails all the time myself, but it's not very often that I film it. So I'm quite excited for that one, but I filmed it a couple weeks ago and now they're chipping and I'm quite sad about it, to be honest. So next up, I have one of the So Su Contour On The Go Cream Sticks. This is in the shade Light and it says Conceal on the front. So I'm guessing that they've got different shades um, for the concealer and then they've also got contour sticks as well. I mean, to be completely honest, I don't often like these kind of stick concealers. I have had a couple in the past that I've liked, but I mean, we'll, we'll see what it's like. I like the Bare Minerals stick concealer. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it does feel like it melts quite um, quickly into my skin, which I guess is a good thing, but then these kind of stick products, usually I find them quite heavy. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was kind of having flashbacks to my teenage years when I would just get like the collection or the um, natural collection from Boots or Poundland stick concealers and just whack it all over my face. And they were really cakey and horrible. But to be honest, this doesn't look too bad under my eyes. It actually looks quite hydrating. Well, it looks a lot nicer than I was expecting. I think I can tell you that. Mm. It's really not, it's not looking great on my nose. I'm really not too sure how well you can see my nose. It's just gone like a little bit cakey around the sides and I know for a fact it's not the foundation because I've used this like 50 million times. Um, hmm, yeah, not not the best. Weirdly though, it looks quite fine under my eyes. I don't feel like it's giving me the best coverage. But... So I've then got the contour stick, which I've got the shade Warm, which again is by So Su. Looks like this. They look very similar to the Primark contour sticks. Oh wow, that's quite dark. And I know that um, So Su is sold in Primark. I'm not sure if all of her makeup is. I'll try a little bit on my nose. I'm blending it out using a brush. No, no. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, okay, I've got to say that blended beautifully. Hell, that's blended so nicely, but I've put on way too much. It's okay, I will fix it with the concealer stick in a second. But, look at that blend on my forehead. Oh my God, I really like how well it's blending. It's very creamy. This blend on my forehead, okay, let's ignore the cheeks because there's way too much product on there, but that blended beautifully. Let's go back in with a bit of the concealer stick and kind of try and fix this mess. Okay, so for the concealer stick, it wasn't my favorite, but that contour stick blended beautifully. I would definitely be using that again. I like it. No, no face powders. So I'm just using my Revolution um, Bacon Blot Powder in Lace, which looks like this. Actually, this is probably a bit light. And hey, look at me remembering to put my cream products on before I powder my face. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So for my cheek palettes, I was sent a box of stuff from a brand called The Beauty Crop who I haven't heard of before, but they're launching in Superdrug and they're really affordable. I think these palettes are eight pounds each. Um, they've got the Coco Rose Blush Palette and the Coco Bronze Bronzer Palette. They have a lot of different products as well. So I'm gonna try both of these out because who doesn't love a Superdrug bargain? They're also cruelty free and vegan as well, which is great. So this is what the palette looks like. And on the inside, it looks like this. So you get four different shades. Hmm, okay. I just wanted to check on the kind of shade ranges because this palette looks quite light. They do have a couple different palettes on their website. They've got um, some slightly bigger ones that are 12 pounds and in those they've got a slightly lighter one and then a slightly deeper one. But this one um, like little quad from the Coco collection just seems to come in this one shade, which is disappointing, which I don't really understand because with their other products like their liquid highlighters and stuff, they've got quite a few different shades and they go quite deep. So I'm gonna try this one, which is the lightest shade in the palette and it looks like it's a matte bronzer. Obviously I've already got on my cream contour, but I just wanted to give a little bit of extra warmth. I'm not 100% sure about that shade. I'm gonna try this one, which is the only shade in the palette that's got a little bit of shimmer, because maybe I'll prefer that more, although it does look more like a highlighter. Okay, no, that's too shimmery. That's more of like a bronzy sort of highlighter. Let's try this warmer shade. Also, if you could just put the bronze down because I think you've got more than enough. Actually, maybe I should take the lighter shade for my nose because it probably would match me a bit better. Yeah, you know what? This lighter shade is actually quite a good shade for nose contour because I don't usually want it to be as harsh as the rest of my face. I mean, I have just made it quite harsh, but I don't know, man. Hopefully we have a bit more luck with the blush palette. So let's give this one a go. The packaging for these is quite cute though. Um, this is the Coco Rose palette, which looks like this. So there's a couple more peachy shades and then two um, more hot pink kind of colors. This one is more of an orange. This one is a bit more peach. And this one again has got shimmer in it. I think these would work for more skin tones because they are really pigmented. Like, yeah, they show up quite a lot. I'm gonna try a little bit of this orange one, which is matte. Oh, is that a bit too orangey on me? Hmm, I think I quite like it. And then I'm gonna dip into the shimmery one. I guess what's quite nice is because you've got them in the palette, you can kind of dip into probably all of them or mix and match. Okay, I think the shimmery one is a little bit too dark for me, but they are pretty. I quite like this. I definitely prefer the blush palette to the contour palette, I think. From the same brands, they have these adorable little milk cartons. These are the Glow Milk illuminating milk for face and body. I was kind of really hoping that the packaging on the inside would be like a little milk carton as well, but it's just a um, glass bottle highlighter dropper. We all know that I'm not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters, but I did really want to test this because again, it's pretty affordable. It's a new brand. Uh, there are a few liquid highlighters that I like, so I wanted to see if this one was any different. Although this shade looks like it's... That's gonna be too dark for me, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the tiniest bit onto my hand. The tiniest bit. It's sort of like... Just take my finger and tap it in. Oh, okay. It's a bit more natural than I was expecting, but you know what? That has not taken off my foundation underneath. It feels very thin and it's given me a really beautiful dewiness, but without being super in your face. I mean, I did put the tiniest bit on, but I quite like it. I literally took the smallest amount, blended it out on my hand like this and then just kind of tap that gently. 
Oh wow, you know what? That's actually really nice. And it's not disturbing my makeup underneath it, which is the main thing that I hate with the liquid highlighters. I also just hate when they're super chunky and super thick and they make you look like Tin Man. I mean, I think it is a little bit dark, but it's giving me a beautiful glow. That's actually a really nice liquid highlight. Another highlighter product that I'm just gonna add over the top of this to kind of set it in place, which looks stunning, is the Lottie London and Layla Loves collaboration. They've teamed up again to do another collection. Unfortunately, they did send two eyeshadow palettes, like miniature eyeshadow palettes in with it, but both of them were completely smashed to pieces. I'm not sure how this highlighter survived, but I'm so glad that it did. It's called Glazed Donut, and on the inside it looks like this, so you've got a wheel of different colours. But oh my god, I swatched this when it arrived, it looks incredible. Like, it's a baked sort of formula, but it looks so shimmery and so gorgeous, so get it on my face right now. <laughs> I think most of the cheek products that I've gotten right now are probably a little bit dark, and it looks a little bit crazy from the front, but it's okay, because I'm going to turn myself into a clown. Um, So I'm just going to dip into, I guess, the two lighter shades at the top. Oh my god. Okay, wow, it picks up a lot of product on the brush and there's kind of like glittery bits flying around everywhere. Oh my god. I can't remember the last time I wore highlighter this intense, but hey, it's Halloween. Um, wow, I mean, wow. <laughs> it's got quite a lot of little glitters in it. So if you're not keen into a super kind of visible highlighter, maybe this wouldn't be for you because I know that some people like to have their highlighter to look like it's just their skin naturally glowing. Which I would say if you like that, go for the liquid highlighter that I tested. If you like something more intense, this is stunning. But I mean, you know, you can definitely see that it's there. But wow. I'm going to skip my eyebrows for now because I think I'm going to fill them in with one of the coloured pencils that I've got for this clown sort of look. So for my eyes, again, I've got a couple of different things that I'm going to test. I've actually got another product from the Beauty Crop, which is their Stuck On You Eye Primer, which I thought was quite interesting because I haven't tried tons of eye primers, but um, this is a drugstore one. I mean, obviously it's drugstore. This whole video is a drugstore testing video. But the thing that I'm most excited for is the Makeup Obsession X Illuminati, and her name is Tiffany. You know what? I never even knew that. I always just thought she was called Illuminati. <laughs> obviously I didn't, but um, that's her Instagram name. And how cool does this palette look? It's got holographic packaging. It's got this 3D sort of bubble writing, and the inside of this, <gasps> it's got a mirror. I mean, Look at all of those colours. It's pretty much got every single colour of the rainbow. It's not your conventional sort of layout of colours, but I think that she's made it look really, really cool and all the colours um, are kind of lined up next to each other. And then you've got the black in the middle, you've also got a white, you've got a couple of shimmers, and then all the shades in the middle are mattes. And along with that, she's got the Kaleidoscope Dreams So Coal Eyeliners, which are all really bright colours. Pink, blue, orange, purple, and yellow, so gonna use those as well. The palette's 20 pounds and the eyeliners are 12 pounds. Let's do something creative. But first, eyeshadow primer. Stuck on you eyeshadow primer. Comes in a pot like this, kind of reminds me of the Revolution Pro um, eye primer that I used to really like, but then mine completely dried out. Oh, this is interesting. It doesn't have much color to it and it feels kind of waxy, but I will give it a go. Not gonna knock it till I've tried it. That's why I intentionally didn't set my eyelids, by the way, because I knew that I was gonna use an eyeshadow primer. It does have the tiniest bit of pigment, as you can see there, but it's not like a full coverage eye base like the Anastasia one or anything. Hmm. It feels quite nice. Yeah, look. Okay, now that I've dug into it a little bit more, it definitely has a little bit more pigment. It feels like it's sort of dried down a little bit. It feels quite nice. So I saw Twee, um, her Instagram is Twee Lee, and I saw her do a neon clown look the other day, which kind of inspired me to do my own variation of a neon clown. Let's just do a fully rainbow themed clown. It doesn't really matter which colors I use, does it? Because I want to test them all. Let's go yellow on the inner corners, orange, red, pink, purple, blue, green. Have I done that before? I don't know, I don't care. I'm gonna go in with the shade Shock, which is a yellow. And, oh wow, that's really quite pigmented. And because this is a clown look, I could be as messy as I want. <laughs> my God, for a yellow, that's really pigmented. I think it's really sticking to that eye base. Oh my gosh, I've just realized that one of the yellow shades in here is called Glow Up because she was actually, Tiffany was actually on the show Glow Up in the UK, which was like a makeup sort of competition thing. And oh my God, she is so flipping talented. Um, okay, so that shade is Shock. Then let's take the shade Awkward, which is this orange mustardy color awkward and i'm gonna put that next to it nice then i'm taking the shade lava which is another bright orange but this one's a bit more of a red orange than a mustardy orange if that makes sense oh wow these are really pigmented so far 
Look at that. They're also blending really nicely into each other. Um, I'm gonna then take Pop of Sis, which is a bright, it's still slightly orange, but it's kind of just a red, I think, or is it? Nope, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like a ready orange. Just kind of intensify that even more. Oh my God, these shades are beautiful. Just gonna kind of keep blending back over them into each other, which I think has made some of the shades disappear a little bit. That's looking really cool so far. Then I'm taking the shade Poison, which is a straight up sort of bright red color, which is a little bit darker. Oh my God, these are so pigmented. Look at that. Ugh. That red, oh my God, that is so bright. Wow, I'm so impressed so far. This looks so cool. Um, I'm probably gonna need a clean brush to blend some of these shades into each other, but first I'm gonna take, oh, what should I do? I mean, because it's clown, I guess I can bring it out to like really wing it out and have it quite dramatic. Let's take pink, which is called, well, I say let's take pink. There's like quite a few pink shades, but I'm gonna take the shade Drama Queen, which is the brightest pink. Again, like what the hell is so pigmented? Look at my brush. I am so impressed. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Toxic, which is this purple. Cause I am actually gonna bring my eyeshadow, I think all around my eyes because I can do what I want because I'm a clown. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Also, I have just realized that I obviously I haven't primed my under eyes. So the shades might not be as bright down here, but I'm gonna take the shade Electric, which is this bright blue. And I'm gonna start putting, oh my God, even with no eyeshadow primer, what the hell? Oh, and I could have brought this all the way up here as well. I mean, I can still do that. Um, I'm then gonna take the shade Acid, which is this green. They're just so good. Um, I know that this looks insane right now. Let's take a bit more of the purple. Blend it down here. The purple is the only shade so far that isn't blending into the other shades as nicely. The others all kind of like layered really nicely and mushed into each other, but this one's kind of wanting to stay a bit separate. I'm then gonna dip into Cries in Spanish, which is this blue, and I'm just gonna, I don't know, I guess extend some blue down my face. Um, I've literally got no idea where I'm going with this and I'm hoping that it works out. And then let's dip into Mushy Peas, which is this green. Uh-oh, that one's quite crumbly. I look insane. Um, let's dip back into some of those blue shades. And then I'm gonna take some of the reds and the oranges. Okay, one thing that I've definitely noticed is they come out so much brighter with a primer underneath, which I guess is a given, but you can kind of see the difference on top of my foundation. Why have I done those so high? Oh, I don't even know what I've done. What have I done? I mean, I don't really know what mess this is that I've created. I'm just gonna keep going and adding a few more colors and trying to like blend it a bit more. I'm gonna do my eyebrows purple. So I'm taking the shade Cocktail from the Coal Liners and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows with this. I mean, obviously they're not designed to go in your eyebrows, but ooh, it's really creamy. You know what, let's do one eyebrow purple and the other eyebrow can be blue because why not? Oh, I should have done the opposite colorways on each eye. Oh well, today I'm just letting my imagination run free. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. I don't know if this wants to work over the top of eyeshadow, that's the only problem. Yeah, I think that definitely would have worked better if I'd have done it not over the top of the powder eyeshadow, but it's still like showing up, but it's a lot more creamy on my eyebrows, but you know what, it's okay, we'll keep going. I should have probably done these bits first and then done the eyeshadow on top of it. Oh, I really wanna use this yellow one, but I'm not sure what for. I don't even know what this is, what am I doing with this yellow? Okay, don't make the stupid mistake that I did because these liners show up so much better just on regular skin rather than over the top of eyeshadow, which I should have known, but oh well. I'm gonna do a pink nose. I just realized I never used any of the shimmers. So I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Opalite on my inner corners. Oh, okay, that one's got quite a bit of fallout. Oh my God, that color is so pretty. I'm bringing that down just onto this green section because it is a kind of greeny blue reflective shade this bit up here i just don't really like what i've done with it i mean this isn't my favorite look full stop because i didn't really plan it first and i wish that i had i should have given myself some rosier cheeks so i'm gonna dip into one of these pink eyeshadows what even is this look i don't know if it needs white eyeliner or if it needs black eyeliner let's do white and black <laughs> 
For the white eyeliner details, I'm using the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof um, Eye and Body Liquid Liner in the shade White. And then for my black eyeliner, I'm taking the Beauty Crop Wing Woman Eyeliner, which is another product from that brand that's launching in Superdrug. And it looks like this, quite skinny. I'm just gonna have a bit of a play around and see what I can do to make this look a bit better. This line is quite stiff. I feel like it doesn't bend very easily to curve to your eye shape. So for my mascara, I'm using the new L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. I did do an ad on my Instagram page with this, but this is not sponsored at all. I freaking love this mascara. I've pretty much been wearing it every day since I filmed that ad for it. Quite a few people in the comments were asking me whether I prefer this or the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. To be honest, they're pretty similar. This one's just a little bit more... I don't know how to describe it. It sounds really weird, but it doesn't feel as heavy. I don't know, I feel like this one's a little bit more black. They're kind of both on par for me, like they're both pretty similar. It's probably quite hard to see my lashes because of the um, eyeliner being so thick. I am gonna stick some lashes on in a second, but first I'm just gonna do my lips, just while the mascara dries. For this, I'm using the ColourPop and Zoella lip liner in the shade Bossy, which is just a red lip liner. Any drugstore red lip liner will do. And we're doing a spiky cupid's bow. And this really needs sharpening. Part of me thinks I should just smudge this myself to make it look intentional. I'm just keeping on adding bits as I go along. This eyeliner really isn't very liquidy. I keep having to shake it. Even when I was just doing my eyes, it was like this. I'm just gonna neaten up the mouth. Um, I'm gonna stick on some lashes and then I will be back with the finished look. I mean, I don't even know what this is, but it was pretty fun. Because I couldn't get it perfect, I've just made it intentionally smudgy. I think these are Tammy's lashes in girlies, but I I honestly just take my lashes off and just leave them around the house, so I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm just gonna use a bit of the Sleek Life Proof Mattifying Fixing Mist. I'm gonna give this a good shake because I think mattifying mists have got powder in them. Oh my God, it's a very, very strong spray. Oh my God, I look so weird. <laughs> Just looking at myself in the viewfinder, it doesn't even look like me. Okay, let me just do my lashes, then I'll be back because this is taking forever. And the makeup is done. I mean, I don't know what this turned into. I kind of love it, but I also think it's kind of random. <laughs> it might have gone a little bit off course from my original kind of plans and my drugstore testing video, but what I will say is this eyeshadow palette I think was amazing and I think it worked a whole lot better with the eyeshadow primer underneath it, so I think the eyeshadow primer was really nice as well. That contour stick was beautiful and I would definitely be using that again. Concealer stick, not my fave. Contour palette, not my fave. Blush palette, not bad. The black liner also wasn't my favourite, it was a bit too dry and a bit too stiff. The NYX um, 24 hour liners that I did for the white details, those are actually pretty nice. They're a little bit sticky but they definitely do last a really long time and you have to wait for them to fully dry because they do stay sticky for a little while but now it's dry like they're really hard to get off actually because I did use them the other day when I did my um purge makeup look and it took me a long time to get it off my lips oh no okay that looks weird <laughs> it's kind of like a modern take on a clown I guess especially me wearing my hoodie right I'm gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any more questions for me leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day I've just realized looking back on my previous video that I didn't reply to comments on my previous video so I'm gonna go do that now because I know normally like scroll through and read them all and reply to a bunch of people but I've realized that I completely forgot to do that the other day. Today's question comes from Kenia Morales. I'm really sorry if I just said your name wrong. But they have said I've never been so early. Question of the day, will you do advent calendar unboxings? So I do have a few beauty advent calendars. Do you guys want to see them first of all? Do you want to see them now? I mean I asked on my Instagram and the majority of people said yes they want to see advent calendar videos. But do you want me to do them individually 
or do you want me to do them as kind of like, I don't know, maybe the top five beauty advent calendars and kind of put it all into one? Um, because I know that Sophie Louise unboxes advent calendars and then puts the products on their face. So I don't wanna, like, I don't feel like I need to do that on my channel because she does a lot of them. But let me know if there's any that you want to see and it like what you want me to do with them and what kind of video formats you wanna see with them, that would be really helpful. Right, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry, this wasn't the most put together video ever, but um, it was quite fun. I've been filming for probably about three hours, but I'm gonna go edit this now. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.